Good morning. Hi, friends. It's Teacher Chris, and I'm in the classroom. Makes me think of all of you and wish we could be together right now. Obviously, your parents have probably shared that we're staying safe and staying in our homes and listening to the experts and waiting to hear when we can all be together again. So in the meantime, um, I'm going to be making some little videos with stories or art um, from my from our classroom and Liz will be making some too. So look for us on our new YouTube channel and we hope to see you there. I was going to say that it is the season of spring and you guys can practice that. It's a sign. Kind of start, this is the ground and like psh, bursting. Like when I think about signs of spring, I think of flowers and animals and um, Things are coming alive with the warm weather. You guys are probably noticing it's sunny today and um, lots of things are buzzing around us. I'm missing a few bird songs just because um, it makes me think of spring. Way up high the little birds fly way down in their nest. As the little birds rest with a wing on the left and a wing on the right. The wee little birds do sleep all through the night. Shh, they're sleeping. When the bright sun comes up and the dew falls away, good morning. I wanted to show you another little song, and I know when I stand up, you might not be able to see me, so I might crouch down, but you guys know that there's a part where you stand up tall. Okay. Let's make a little shape like an egg. Eggs are one of the symbols of spring because it symbolizes new birth and fertility. Here we go. I'm a little birdie hatching from my shell. Out comes my head and out comes my tail. Then my legs I stretch out, my wings I give a flap. Then I fly and fly and fly. Now what do you think of that? Down, 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 down. Well, I thought of a very fun art activity that I want to show you, and this is something very simple that you can do at home. So I'm just going to pull over my little workbench here and show you some of the things you need to make this happen. You'll need um, a pencil, but I was just thinking that you could also use, I have some crayons and some chalk, so any of those things will work. A pair of scissors, some tape, and a piece of paper. Now this is a little thicker than maybe like, um, computer paper and some of the paper you draw on. So if maybe mom or dad have something thicker, otherwise the computer paper um, or writing paper works too. So first I'm going to draw, that's why I have my pencil, I'm going to draw the shape of an egg. Now eggs come in all different sizes and shapes, so however yours looks will be fine. Um, you probably can't even see my circle, but it's kind of like a little elongated circle. Then I'm going to cut around my line and I'm going fast because my video can only be for a certain amount of time so I have to be kind of quick and then once it's cut I'm going to use my tape and you can be creative with your tape and I'm going to be quick but sometimes I have it at the edge and use my scissors so however you want to do it you could make lines short long, across, zigzag, whatever your shapes are. Then, with your crayons or pencils, you draw in these different areas. I'm going to use the chalk. I'm going to do a big chalk area in here. Do some orange. 
And I'm doing this really quick, but um, usually this takes a little bit more time at home. So see my egg? Tear gently. Now, you know, and it's okay if you, you can also choose to keep your tape on the egg because I want you just to know that it can, if you don't go slow, it can um, take off some of your paper. But you can make kind of a fun egg design to decorate your house. Some of you may be um, celebrating Easter with your family. Some families might be celebrating Passover, which starts tonight. Um, but there's a lot of spring holidays that families are celebrating. So it might be different than most years, but it's still a, a good time and a good opportunity to get together. I was going to show you one more example of a, a, of a friend from last year. So you can decorate your home or your doors or your windows with that. And speaking of a couple more bird songs, one of our favorites is Two Little Blackbirds. Get your little birdies out. Two little blackbirds sitting on a hill, one named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, come back, Jill. Now we'll have some fun, mix it up a little bit. Two little blackbirds sitting on a cloud, <laughs> one named Soft and one name loud. Fly away, soft. Fly away, loud. Come back, soft. Come back, loud. Two little blackbirds sitting down low. One name fast and one name slow. Fly away fast, fly away slow. Come back fast, come back slow. And I'll do one more. Two little blackbirds sitting on a gate. One name early and one name late. Hmm, hmm, where's my friend? Fly away early. Can have fun with that. Maybe you can mix and make up your own little rhymes and places for the two little birdies to be. Um, I was going to say that I did have one more idea of a couple things just to show you. I've got a little box of eggs and these eggs are fun because they have different actions. An action is like a movement. So real quick, I'm going to open up a couple of these and see what it says inside. Woo! This one says, and it's hard to read, Stand. So I'm going to stand. All right. And maybe this isn't the greatest idea, but I'm just going to do one more. And this one says jump. Should we jump? All right, let's jump. A few jumps. <laughs> I've been sitting on a pillow. Jump, 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 jump. All righties. Well, friends, I am so excited to be reaching out, sharing some fun from our classroom, and I hope to do this more and more. And look for Teacher List too, because we are missing you, and we just want to share some joy uh, from our hearts to yours. And take care, be kind, give the people in your family hugs, and continue to be safe and we will see you soon. Love you.